What's crackalacking guys, I'm Adat Quacker and welcome back to the next episode in our Making Manchester series. So in the last episode, if you guys remember, we had a bunch of stuff that sold, we picked up a, uh, another player, we have now listed all of those duplicate um, French league players that we had. I think we still got some in the club to list up as well, but the main thing is we have completed league own. So if you remember, we were missing one player from um, uh, Marseille, which was Sanson. And then we also did Strasbourg, which was not cheap. Look at this guy. We had to pay 6,000 coins for one player. I wish I could have spent longer and sniped him or something like that. But we just didn't have the time. So we ended up just buying him for whatever he was worth. The last team was Marseille, which we picked up Sanson for. And I've already shown you guys that team. We just get a gold players pack, which isn't fantastic for it. But it will do the trick. It will do the trick. The main thing is we get that Memphis Depay, which is Probably not the better card in my opinion, but it's the card that we need to pick up for this United series here. So he's going to go into the team at the end of the episode. But this episode here, guys, is all about these packs. It's all about can we actually get something that's going to make back some of the 130 odd thousand coins we are currently down. After everything sells, I reckon we're going to be down about 100, 110,000 coins from this series, from these uh, League SBC. So it's a big, big chunk to make up. But even if we get discarded on all these packs, I genuinely think that we will easily break even at worst case scenario on this SBC. And that's if we don't get anything huge. But for example, this guy here, I, I, it's La Liga 2. We do get Serie A striker. Nice. Even if he's like 700 coins, we'll still list him for it. Anything that sells for anything basically is worth it. I'm going to send the gold to the club, but I am going to list up any of the silvers we get. Because like, the silvers are the easiest to miss and forget about. This guy here sells for about 3,000 coins by the looks of it, which is huge. Getting these, this is what I was saying earlier about these methods. The silver packs that we're getting for these can often be the best packs possible because you can just hit one of those 8, 9, 10k players in it and then you're instantly making yourselves a profit on what you've spent on everything so far. We're just hoping for effectively Bundesliga, Ligue 1 or Serie A players. La Liga players and Premier League players could also be great for future use. But at the moment, we're looking for instant sell. Something that can boost our coin total. Um, MLS player. You know what? He's actually one of the better MLS players. He sells for about 1,000 coins, which we will list up. I can see another MLS player at the end. A Chinese Super League player. Again, we can just list him up for... We'll go for 850. 850 might sell. If not, we'll just relist him a little bit cheaper. We are missing players out here as we go along. But I will come back and list those up at another date. We'll go a 900 on this guy. And apart from that, one more MLS. We got three MLS players in the one pack there. He's cheap. He's cheap. We'll go 450. Every tiny little coin that we can make back, though, is important to us. We're not just, like, wasting time listing these players up. We've got 110k to make back. So even something that sells for 500, that is one 220th of the deficit we are trying to overcome at the moment. Russian League players are not great. Any previous year when FIFA had the rights, it would have been fantastic. But this year, when they're just not needed, it's, it's just not fantastic. Like, look at this guy. About a 3k card already, and La Liga's not even out yet. And I think we've already got one of those similar style players in the club. Apart from that, though, this pack was actually pretty dire. We didn't get, like, a single Ligue 1, um, Serie A, or Bundesliga player there. But who cares? We're back onto the bigger packs now. So I'm just going to see if there's anything worse down the end. I think, like, a mixed players pack's probably the worst one we've got, right? Because it's only the one rare, or only the one gold. It's probably not even going to be a rare. Which is completely right. The bonus with these mixed player packs again though, is the fact that we can get those big ticket silver players from them. Which is what we're really hoping for. Uh, Japanese League, we do get a Serie A player. It's a striker though, which doesn't fill me with confidence. We will go for like 1100 on him. And then the bronzes at the end, an MLS player. I think we'll just store them in the club for now. We'll sort our bronzes and stuff at the end. So down to the very, very basic gold packs now. So first up, it's just a 7.5k pack. These are the kind of packs that even if you get a rare player, you're going to be happy with. We are most likely going to get... I'm hoping for two boards from all of these packs. Two boards across all packs is absolutely perfect with me. But I think we may even be pushing it, asking for quite so many. Uh, we'll get rid of like the badges and stuff, and we will list any like non-rare player for about 500. We might even be able to get a bit more. Oops, I really should put that on silent. We might be able to get a bit more from them. But while we're just listing up duplicates and powering through these packs for this episode, I don't want to waste too much time comparing price on everyone. Another non-rare gold pack again. 
this is the problem with these little packs that it's just no silver players that could give you that big win some of the non-rare golds are fantastic because as you guys have seen the league SBCs have got some players that are just stupidly expensive thousand coins maybe and they're non-rare they're the kind of players that we're looking for here we're not expecting to get anything like a walkout or anything absolutely massive from it but anything that can just slowly start working our coins back is fantastic i think these are onto the 15k packs now so this is when i'm starting to think like we should be getting a rare player if it's a board fantastic but if it's not i'm not overly shocked by it this could be campbell is that bundesliga guy 82 rated yes it is yes it is see some of these guys will definitely sell and we will have a massive clear out from everything that we've got in the club um i will get rid of that like a thousand coins in these packs is perfect that's the exact thing i want to see the one of the best things we can see is hunter cards and the four thousand coins i think that's the rare one right the four thousand coins either of those is absolutely perfect for us because that just slowly starts to build up that coin deficit and allows us to get back to a break even point on these um those players not so good these consumables as well like all the contracts we're picking up they will sell shadow is absolutely perfect for us as well i'm pretty sure a shadow card's about 2k oh man it's a lot more than 2k i'm gonna go for four five on it it should sell for four five that's the exact kind of thing that i was looking for there anything that's about 5k from these packs is absolutely perfect that's going to slowly just boost our coin total up it's what we want to be seeing hopefully we can get another one in one of these again uh, just a rare player we should get rare players in most 15k packs but boards is kind of what we're aiming for especially while they're inflated at the moment especially while they're going for about three 4k um no didn't even get a single squad fitness in these packs we got squad fitness in the first 7.5k pack right and then since then i don't think we've got anything in any of these 15k packs i'm just gonna skip this one there is a chance it could be boards but i'm gonna call no i'm gonna guess no boards and i'm gonna be right as well uh, yeah Borja Valero who I know sells for about a thousand coins because of all the SBCs that are out at the moment uh Gladiator Cam Descent Amid a thousand coins that's good that's good that's good and then this guy who we will list for let's just go 650 I have no idea why I'm listing him for that price it just kind of feels right he's from a league SBC so he may have some kind of use for something possibly I don't even know I'm just guessing we do get a rare player again in this pack but no boards no boards I'm still hoping. I'm still standing by two boards. Two 84 players, and I'd be very happy. This pack's actually pretty good. Xhaka goes for something. Pellegrini definitely goes for something. Suso definitely goes for something as well. I'm actually, those kind of packs there where we're getting four or five K back in total from the bigger players are brilliant as well. Absolutely brilliant. We kind of want to be back up to the 300 K point when we finish selling everything we get from these cards. That sets us back up to allow us to trade. It allows us to boost our coin total and push towards the icons that we're hoping for here. Coleman, again, isn't actually an awful player. I don't know why I went 600 on him either. Napoli players, Roma players, um, anything, any players effectively that are going to be used for League SBCs for decent packs should carry a decent price tag attached to them. We are like quite a chunk through these packs though at the moment. And that is the problem here. <laughs> we've got six packs left now. We've absolutely powered through the 11 packs, 12 packs we've opened, 13 packs we've opened. Ooh, Montpellier striker. Mm. It's all right. It's all right. We should be able to get a thousand coins for him. Um, apart from that, though, yeah, these mixed packs, they're all right. They're all right. But we really want to see, we want to see the gold players be big or we want to see the silver players be huge. It's one of the two. We're still sitting on zero boards, though. <laughs> Our pack, like, if you remember, we did some of the profitable SBCs earlier on this, a couple of episodes back, and we picked up absolutely no one. Swansea goalkeeper, MLS uh, striker, possibly worth something. We're storming the club for now. Oh, whoops. Okay, we're on to our premium electron players pack. These are where we could get boards. This is where it could actually give us something slightly decent. There we go. 85 is the dream. Uh, center back, is that uh, going to be tar? It is 83 rated tar. So again, because of the team of the week SBCs, these guys are going for between three to 4,000 coins. So I'm absolutely perfectly happy picking them up. Same with Sanson. I think he's about a 1,500 coin card at the moment. So I'm very happy to get someone like him. As well as, by the looks of it, this guy who goes for about 2K by the looks of it. Maybe, maybe a little bit less, but we'll try our luck with him for that. And apart from that, we'll just storm in the club. Right. Let's do the rare mixed players pack. Then we've got two premium and one prime pack left. And we're still sitting on just the one board. 
zero walkouts for the day despite opening about 40 packs or something on this account now that's absolutely mad i mean i'm not expecting a huge player from these but just something that's worth a little bit for us to boost these coins these are the three best packs we had as well as the other premium one that gave us the 83 rated tar and i just don't see a walkout happening i'd be surprised if we hit one more board i predicted two boards i was kind of hoping for more i kind of lowballed it thinking that surely it's going to be better than that but i really don't think it's going to be maybe this guy sells for a bit about a thousand coins oh oh this is starting to get painful We'll send those to the club, we'll sort those out later, and we'll list this guy up for like 600 coins. So everything we've sent to the club has probably got a value, I'm going to guess somewhere around the 70k mark. It's not going to be massive, but it's not going to be awful at the same time. No boards again. Oh, we get Grob. The Brighton Cam. Damn, guys. I'm hoping that maybe a silver player in this pack is pretty solid. Um, we do get a Serie A striker from Lazio. I mean, he may sell for like 1,400 coins. I think that's probably the best case we can hope for here. Um, and I think all gold rares go for about 950 because of the repeatable Champions League SBCs. And then that just leaves us with the prime gold players pack left. So we didn't get a single walkout in these. Do we get two boards across them? We did. We got my prediction. <laughs> oh, man. We get Jacko in the last pack. That's better. That's better. Jacko is like a... I think he's about... 12k card somewhere around that kind of ballpark figure between 9 to 12k so he's definitely the biggest pack we had by a long way but apart from him you know there really wasn't much in there i'm kind of disappointed over all of those packs i'm not gonna lie like it didn't really seem to do it for me anyway guys we are gonna end up this episode here popping that memphis to pie into the club so that gives us nine past and present united players currently we're two away from finally having a squad We've got a bunch of stuff selling on the transfer list. I'm going to start clearing out the squad, uh, the club. So I'm going to be listing stuff up for the next episode. As you guys can see what's sold there, I can clear it. And then we'll hopefully be pushing back up towards that 300k mark. And we can just crack back on with some trading and stuff. Anyway, guys, if you are enjoying the series, make sure you hit a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, make sure you follow me on my Twitter, which is in the description, as well as join our trading Discord. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll catch you next time.